So, in case you haven't heard, or if you haven't watched the previous videos, Petco's having their dollar per gallon sale again. Kind of. Um, and I'm sure you've seen in the previous videos that we picked up quite a few tanks. Um, anything that's under 29 gallons is a dollar per gallon. Anything now over 29 gallons up to a 75 gallon tank is 50% off. This is what the sign says. Well, if you ask around, nobody has 75 gallon tanks. If you check Petco's forums, you will see several people, multiple, multiple, multiple people complaining that there are no 75 gallon tanks anywhere to be found. Um, USA countrywide, nothing's there. So several people have wrote in and complained about this. What they have tried to state is that the 75 gallon is not part of the sale. It's funny because on the sign it states clearly 40, 50, 75, 50% off. What most of the Petco's had been doing is matching the dollar per gallon sale anyways because that's what they had been telling everybody. So if you got a 40 or a 50 or a 40 or 55, they would go ahead and take the couple extra bucks off for the 40 gallon, it's $5, and for the 55, I believe it's like $10. <clears throat> so they were taking that off. Well, for the 75 gallon to do 50% off, it would be, I think like $10 more. And I think it ends up being like $85, um, which would have been fine, but can't find them. <clears throat> and then like I said, if you go on their forums and you check their community site, they're saying it's not included in the deal, even though the sign states that it is. So there's a huge uproar right now going on. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not, or if you've seen it or not. You can check their um, their community site and you'll see this. And it's just a little silly, really, because we were looking forward to picking up a 75 gallon. Um, as you've seen previously, the angels we have have paired up. We've got at least three pairs. We have one that separated that did spawn. Their eggs didn't make it um, for that spawn, but we're attempting to parent raise them. Chances are they're going to eat their first four or five clutches eggs, which is to be expected. After five or six, if they're still eating it and there's absolutely no progression, then we might have to consider separating them out. But if there's, you know, they had them for a day, they were already just had them ready to hatch. They ate them. The next time they lay them, if they get to the wiggler stage and then they eat them, then you know the next time they get some swimmers and then they eat them. If there's forward progression, we're gonna let them parent raise. Um, if there is no forward progression and it's a day after they lay the clutch every single time, we're gonna have to consider taking them out at that point. But until then, we're gonna attempt to let them parent raise. But that's getting aside from the point. Um, we had planned on picking up at least 175 gallon to raise the angel fry in and that's not gonna happen. So I'm, I'm a little disappointed to say the least. Now I do understand that a majority of the times as soon as the 75 gallons come in, there's somebody there waiting for them and they're gone. Keep in mind that we hit our local pet store and we cleaned them out of 20 longs. We picked up uh, nine 20 longs at once and they only had 10 in stock. We did leave one because I'm not, I, I don't like taking everything. You know, I don't feel like, I feel like I'm being greedy then. Um, so I always leave at least one. I did pick up a 40 gallon breeder, which they had multiple of those, and I wish I'd have grabbed another one, because I do have another plan that I'm kicking around, but um, it just, it disappoints me that even their home office doesn't know what the sale is, they didn't communicate to the stores what the sale was, and somewhere between point A and point B, even though the sign in marketing said 75 gallons, Home office is saying it doesn't, and the stores are saying they're not going to get any in until the next dollar per gallon sale because they're going to be included in that one. I, I, I don't know. It's a little bit of a rant, I guess. It just disappoints me that, you know, they do these these amazing deals, and they're doing them twice a year, so I really shouldn't complain, but if you're going to advertise you're going to have 75 gallons, have 75 gallons. If you're not gonna have 75 gallons, don't advertise you're gonna have them on sale. It just irritates me, because we called up, we went to three physical locations, and I 
probably call two more that are in the area by me and nobody had them and of course that piqued my curiosity so I went online and and I checked their uh, their forum page and sure enough from New York to New Jersey to, to Georgia to Florida to California um, I want to say there was some in Kentucky as well um, I know out here there's nine Illinois there's nine Michigan, I believe, was another one that was on there. So, I mean, it's like countrywide, and no one has them. So, it's it's frustrating. It really is. Um, I don't know. I guess that'll end the rant. Just, it's one of those things, you know. You, you have something set in your mind, and a goal in your mind that you want to achieve and, and you've seen the progress that we've made in the fish room since day one. If you haven't seen how far we've come, go to the very beginning of the the uh, videos and I think it was like the first or second video I ever made, and this is two months ago, almost three months ago now, um, literally was what the fish room looked like before we redid it. And then painting and filling it up and building stands and getting all the tanks and we have one wall left to fill up, and we have three of the tanks as of right now. I'm hoping to get two more to be done with that wall, and then I'm in. That's it for now. I'm not going to do anything else. Um, we still have a total of five tanks left that we need to get to fill up what I want to fill up. In reality, I could use three, maybe form on top of that, so eight or nine more tanks, and I'd have every single stand filled up, but I don't know if I'm ready to do that just yet. Um, all of these are gonna be shrimps for the most part. These are all shrimp tanks. You can see the angels kicking back over here. Let me see if I can get up on there. There they are. So anyways, um, those are all gonna be shrimp tanks in the center, and then we have the bigger tanks and the other tanks that we're doing on the opposite walls. So the middle is a shrimp. We have guppies that are going to be over there. And then we also have a 55 that we're not entirely sure what we're going to do with it yet. There's been some debate. We're kind of kicking back and forth ideas of what we want to do. There's going to be a 40 gallon for sure over there with fish that I have yet to get because I have to get the 40 gallon set up, which means I need to build a stand still. And I'm still recovering. It's taken forever for it to heal, and I don't know why. Um, I had to have oral surgery done. If you haven't watched the previous video, I had I have like four stitches in the back of my my mouth back here, and I popped a stitch the other night at dinner. And since then, it's just not fun. But we haven't been able to get out and get to do the stuff that we want to do just for that simple reason. But once everything's back on track. The other stand over there is going to get built. It's going to have two 55s. One's going to be the guppies with the pea buffers. The other one is yet to be decided. The 40 is yet to come, and we get all that stuff cycled up and set because I have big plans for that tank that personally I think are cool. A um, couple other people have done it and are doing it, but it's something I find fascinating just because I find it fascinating. And I've said before, if you don't enjoy what you're keeping, don't keep it because it's going to kill the hobby for you. So I'm always looking for something that I think is fascinating, and then once I get tired of having it, I may sell them off or I may trade them off, and then I'll get something else that fascinates me and I'll cycle through, which is what you should do. It gives you more experience in the hobby. It gives you a, a broader spectrum as to what types of fish you can and can't keep and what you can and can't comment on, and it also allows you to become more well-versed in habits and habitats and things of that nature. So it's something I do recommend. You can do what you want. It's entirely up to you. It's the beautiful thing about this hobby. Everyone does it their own way. But for me, if you're not interested in what you're doing and you're, what you're keeping, you're going to lose interest overall in the hobby. You're going to let the tanks go. You're going to have problems, which is going to further set you back. If you don't enjoy what you have, don't have it. So and once we get bored of what we're doing now, we'll switch everything out and we'll put new stuff in. You know, and it's just the way that we do it. That's the way that I've done it. It works because it keeps you interested in the hobby. It gives you more knowledge. It educates you further, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, back to what I was saying. Um, 
55, 55, 40, and then hopefully another 40, and then I wanted a 75 over on this wall behind me here. Um, just like I said, for a raw tank, but that's not gonna happen. Thank you, Petco. And normally I don't bash, but I'm not even bashing, because the sale's great. It just irritates me that they don't have it. I mean, we did go in there and drop, you know, quite a bit of money, we bought, it. I think 12 tanks at once, and we had a huge L cart thing, and everyone was staring, are you buying all of it? Yeah, sorry. But it just, it, it really does. Don't advertise what you don't have. It's just golden, it's golden rule, man. Don't advertise what you don't have, but. I'll end it there. I'm done ranting. Sorry, I just, it, it perturbed me. I do want to let everybody know the dollar per gallon sale is going on. Just don't expect to get a 75 gallon tank. Um, 20 longs, 20 highs, 10s, 15s, 5.5s, uh, 29s. Those are all, you know, a dollar per gallon. The 40s and the 55s are 50% 50 off. If you talk to them, they may very well give you the, the dollar per gallon. I can't say they will for sure, but they did for us. Um, talk to them, see what they say. Just don't expect a 75, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the box below. Any suggestions, let me know down there as well. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share. It does help out tremendously. Um, let's get some more people in the fish keeping hobby. We're up to 70 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys. You guys are amazing, absolutely wonderful. Um, at 100 subscribers, we will start doing live streams. Uh, I may do them every night. I may do them every other night. It all depends on how well it goes. Um, we're gearing up for that as well. So if you haven't already, check out the other videos. I'm going to include some links at the end of this one. And as always, guys, happy fish keeping.